Come in, it's open. How you doing? Yeah, you, you probably heard, did you? You haven't heard? You will soon. You know how news travels around here. Well, let me tell you how it really happened. All right, T take a seat, man. Well, you know Mr. Peterson was gonna brief us. And so I went down there, about five or six of us, um, and he was gonna brief us. I got there, I mean, I could tell he wasn't doing too good, but you know, what he has, I need, that in that's information, that's, that's like the best information. Well, to be honest with you, that's like the only information that we, we've really got from the outside world. So I need to know, I need to know what's going on out there so I can plan if I need to change things around here. About two minutes in, Doc stopped it. He said, this, this guy ain't doing good, we have to stop it and come back another day. And I said, hey Doc, this is a security issue, this is my side of the house, back off. Well, that's probably the wrong thing to say to him because he said, whoa, this is medical, this is my side of the house, you back off. You know what, I'm, I'm just glad cooler heads were in the room. Because I guess we're both having bad days and... I guess we, this is our really first big personality conflicts or, uh, as, you, as you know, we do the chairperson. I'm in charge of security, he's in charge of medical, we got guys in charge of commo, guys in charge of you know, logistics, and that's how we've been doing it, and so far it's been pretty good. This is really the first time we went head to head, because you know we had that overlap of authority. But cooler heads prevailed, separated us. Yeah, I probably acted like a jerk, and I know he acted like a jerk, but life goes on, I guess. That's why you caught me in here. I just try and get away, clean some weapons, uh, just get them done. Remember? Man. Well, the only thing I really got from him, he did for about two minutes, said one thing that really interested me. I, that's why it's driving me crazy when, when Doc said I had to leave. He said he saw U.S., well, I guess they're U.S., he saw U.S. military, I mean, they were decked out, he said they were definitely U.S. military, they had no American flag on their shoulder, but they did have another flag flying on some of their vehicles, it was, it looked just like an American flag, he said, it had all the right, same stripes, but it only had four stars, four stars, I'm like, what is this? I mean, I, everything has collapsed. I mean, we got to rebuild. Maybe that's the start of the rebuilding. Four states? Maybe it only means four counties. I, I don't know, but four stars on that flag. So that's, I, I want to know. I want to know really bad what that means. <sighs> Maybe tomorrow I can talk to Mr. Peterson, but I doubt it. It'll probably be a couple more days. Doc will probably make it go a couple extra after that just to get back at me. But, you know, probably deserve it. Cleaning weapons, man. Weapons maintenance. Remember, remember when we had debates on AR against AK or 7.62 by 39 against 5.56, and then someone throws 308 in there or 30 odd six. We debated for hours. You know, you know. I went with the AR-15 just because I've seen warehouses full of, I'd say billions of rounds. Probably not that many. Probably exaggerating, but you know, just cases stacked from the floor to the ceiling. You know, in government warehouses. That's why I went with it. And I'm used to it. You know, some guys went with the AK, which is excellent. I mean, how can you beat a 75 round drum? I mean, they got 40 round mags. I mean, you can't beat that. It's a good cartridge. The only reason I don't like it is because I think there's more 5.56 inside the United States. And in a raw situation, the bullets are going to matter because I remember Africa. You could pick one of these babies up for 50 bucks, but the bullets, one round, was a dollar a piece. So I'm like, wow, the weapon ain't really worth as much. The ammo is the key. That's why I went with the 5.56. But, you know, anyone would do if we would have stocked more ammo. I mean, I know guys that had a couple of these, a couple of these, and, you know, all kinds of other assault rifles. They might have had four or 5,000 rounds between them for all the caliber. I talked to a guy yesterday, he said he could do anything just to pick two AKs and sell every, he had a couple H and Ks, I mean he said he'd sell everything to buy ammo for his two AKs. I mean ammo is the currency. If you got ammo you can get 
anything out there, anything with ammo. I mean, if you, if you look over there, I have, man, I don't know, 40, 50, 40, 50 weapons stacked up in there of oddball calibers. People run out of ammo, oddball, I can't help them, even if I wanted to, I can't help them. They're oddball calibers. I mean, they're good hunting rounds. I mean, they're just great rounds, good guns, but no ammo. I mean, a couple of them, I think we got maybe four rounds for that one in the corner and a few for the other one, but all the rest... One of them, that, that $1,000 deer rifle in there, uh, I traded, well, I didn't trade, we had somebody trade, I, I authorized it, because it deals with ammo, so we gave them 35 rounds of 9 millimeter rounds for $1,000 good rifle. I mean, it was a bad deal for us, I'm gonna tell you right now. 35 rounds of 9 millimeter for a club, because that's all it was to him. The guy had a deer rifle and he had a 9 mil. And, I mean, we needed to do it. He's a good guy trying to defend. He lives just, he lives a little bit too far out for us to give him a lot of protection. I mean, we'll go to his aid if, he, if, if we know he needs help. But, so we gave him 35 rounds. Hopefully that will help. Um, I mean, I could give him weapons, but the problem is the ammo. I mean, ammo is the important part now that people didn't think about. When you run out of ammo, this is just an expensive club, man. And really, ain't, I'd rather have a baseball bat than this trying to hit somebody. Oh, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping tomorrow I can talk to Mr. Peterson. I, I, probably not, but well, tomorrow will be another day. Let me go find some more weapons, and I'll see you to clean. I'll see you tomorrow.